the first thing you need to do is to come to this um, website called zohomail.com or you can just go to google search for zoho mail so you can um, click on the first link right here and this is where you would land so also you need to have your domain name you need to have a registered domain name somewhere so you can buy this domain name anywhere that you want but in this case i'll be using a domain name i have with namecheap so you also need to log into your namecheap account and you want to come to the domain list so if you have your own um, name registered somewhere you just need to go to um, where you have it registered and then we'll come back to that so you come here you want to select business email and then you want to put a name so you can use either a phone number or an email address so i'm going to use an email address here and then i'm going to create a password so i'm just going to use this um, automatically generated password and um, i'm just going to hit agree to the terms and then you can continue so you are going to receive an otp sent to your email and then you need to verify this otp i just received the otp and this is six four three seven zero six zero so with this we should be able to get into the back end and um, we have to give it some seconds or some minutes actually it takes seconds to load and we should be inside of um, the zoho mail so as you can see we are now inside of zoho and they want to first upsell you so you can actually use um, they have very cheap plants here that you can use but if you come to the bottom you see here where they say we also have a free plan for you and you can add up to five users each user will get five gig per user and then a 25 mb um, attachment limit so you can say let's try that for now because that's what we want to do and um, um, our process has begun so we want to add an existing domain if you do not have a domain you can basically purchase from them if you want but i have an existing domain and i'm going to click add now and this is where you now put um, your domain so I'm just going to copy this um, domain that I want to use for this video. So I just copy the domain and I want to come right here and paste the domain. So you want to see what your organization, um, the name of your organization. So I'm just going to call it, let's say, um, um, boards. And then I want to select my industry. This is not mandatory. So let's say I'm in maybe advertising or anything at all. So let me just say retail e-commerce. And then you can click on add now. So um, give it some time. As you can see, congratulations, we've added our email. But we need to verify this email. So we need to verify that we actually own this email. So you click on proceed to domain verification. So here to verify that we actually own this domain, we need to go to our, wherever our domain is listed. So here, make sure that you have this to um, RTST recommended. So there are other options you can use, but this is the recommended one. So you stick to this one. So all you have to do is copy this, all right? and take note of this so if we come to namecheap i'm doing this using namecheap so you can do this with um your own so you just need to find where you have your um, domain settings so for namecheap i just want to come to manage here and i can just go to my um, domain stuff so here i have the information about my domain but i want to come to advanced um, dns and this is where i'm going to find the settings that we need or where I can add records. So here we want to come where we have these host records and um, you want to click on add a new record. So you want to select the record type, which will be a TST record. So if you come back here, you can see we are adding a TST record. So 
here where we have the TST name, you can leave it blank or you can add uh, um, just the hash sign, which is um, at. And then this is where you now paste the value that we just copied. This is what we use to verify. So you can equally set this to, to automatic and then you click on save changes. So this record has been added. So if you come right here, you want to click on verify TST record. So as you can see, we have verified the ownership of our website. So sometimes it can take a few seconds or a few minutes um, before it propagates. So if you get the error, just give it some time and you should be good. So this is where you actually start creating your email. So the, the essence of what we are trying to create is a business email that carries our domain. So in this case, let's say we want to do maybe help or contact or even hello let me just use info so it can be anything basically so you just click on create and we basically would have created um, a business domain using um, Zoho but we are not done so um, domain so for instance you can see that we have created one user but with um, Zoho we can create up to five users so five users simply means Let's say I created info at boardway.site. I can create hello support at boardway.site, stuff like that. So this is where you add them. So these are individual emails and you can um, add them individually. However, I don't, want, I don't want to do that now, but that's how you do it in case you want to do it. So let's just proceed to set groups, set up groups. And this is where you can set up people under um, your distribution. So I don't really want to do anything here. So I can just say proceed to the DNS mapping. Now we already have a business email that can receive emails. However, for us to be able to send emails, we also need to set up these records called DMS records. So what we need to do is you want to come back to your domain um, DNS settings and you want to look for mail settings so for namecheap they have it somewhere called mail settings so if you come here you want to click right here and you want to switch to custom mx because we are using custom and third party from zoho so what we can do is here we want to copy the first one which is um the priority is set to 10 so you want to come here you want to click on the host again the host is can either be blank or um it's going to be at so you just type at and this is the value the value is what we copied which is mx.zoho.com the priority here would be 10 so you want to put that and then you want to save the changes and then you want to do this the second time which is add a new record again ms record you want to come back you want to copy the second one it's going to be 20 the priority will be 20 and then we want to put again at and this is um the value priority this time would be 20 then you say okay and then you want to add the third one which would be mx3 copy that this time the priority would be 50 so you come back here you want to add um, at, then you paste the value here and then priority again, 50. So you save that. So we've added the um, records here, but we are not done. We need to also add an SFP record, which is a TST record again. So you want to copy this and we want to come back to our stuff and then we want to come here under the TST record. So we want to add a new record. Again, it's going to be a TST record. And we want to go and check um, the host. As you can see, the host TST remains at. So we'll come here, we'll type the host to be at, and then the value is going to be what we've copied here. So you want to check, check it again. And um, the last but not the least again is a TST record but this time you notice that the host changes so you want to come back here copy it come again 
add a new record. We are adding a TST um, record. Our host this time is going to be what we've copied from here. And then you want to copy this. This is going to be our value. And of course, no priority this time around. So you want to put the value right here and then you want to save it. So you click on save and we are basically good to go. So all you have to do is come here, click on verify all records. So this might take some time. So as you can see, it says the DNS record might take a while depending on the TTL to get propagated and reflect in your domain. So you can sit back, relax and blah, blah, blah. So you say, okay. And as you can see, these other trees, they have been, these ones, they have been automatically verified, but we have to give this one some time, sometimes 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes, five minutes, it should be good. So we are basically done. And when this is um, completely done, we would be able to start receiving, um, sending emails too. So let's proceed to the next stage, which is the email migration. So if you have emails somewhere, you can actually migrate it to Zoho. So you can basically start your migration and move your data from other places to Zoho. But again, I do not want to do that. And then I want to go to the next step, which is a very important step. And this is just Zoho showing you that you can actually manage all these things from your phone. So all you have to do is you want to come here, click here, and then to redirect you to where you can download your mobile app. So you can get the mobile app on Play Store and app, Apple Store. And also the mail admin, the back end, you can also get the app if you wanted. And you can basically uh, manage everything from your phone. This is very convenient and I use this on the phone. So you can just go to the Play Store and you would log in using the um, email and the password we created from the beginning. So that's how you use the app. So once we are done, we want to come to proceed to set up completion. So as you can see, we are basically done. We can just check our inbox immediately to see that our inbox is currently functioning. So it's loading the um, business email that we have created um, for free without spending any money. So let's give it some time to come up and you can um, see your inbox. So here you can see it says hello, welcome to um, Zoho Mail and all the features you get. So you can just scroll through to see everything you get. The builder, you can set a theme for how you want your inbox to look. This is a preview, so you can select anyone you want. So I like the default one, but you can use this if you like. So this is actually cool. So we are going to continue with that. And um, or we are all set, you can just click access my Zoho mail. And as you can see, we've just received two mails as at when we created this video. So you can see the email here that we received from the Zoho team. So here it says we've simplified email accessibility, blah, blah, blah. You can actually download the app directly from here if you wanted. But this is where you see your inbox, your draft, your templates, your sent, your spam, your trash, everything, your newsletter. You also have calendars, to-do list, notes, and um, anything that you want from an email. So you can just click here to compose a new email and you can do basically anything that you um, want to do with a proper email. So once our other propagation is complete, we can basically just start um, sending emails. So this is how you can create a free business account with five users um, for free using Zoho. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video and um, subscribe if this video helped you. My name is Good Noel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.